My name is Svetlana. I was born as a healthy, normal child. But while other children continued to grow, I did not. I was walking several kilometers to school every day and life was really hard for us. But I was very curious, cheerful and persistent child and there were no obstacles that I couldn't overcome. I've never had a problem asking for help if I didn't know something or if I couldn't do something because nobody knows or can do everything. During the school years, I was always ready for some action, sometimes even as a group leader. All thought I was much shorter than my other friends, even more than 50 centimeters, I never saw it as an obstacle, so they accepted me as a part of the group. I will fall a hundred times, but I need to get up a hundred times as well. I was thankful that I had small but healthy legs so that I could climb or find a solution other way. Two years ago, I had a heart attack and now I have to slow down a bit. I'm grateful for the fact that I have many friends in my life, real friends. Throughout my life, fate was helping me a lot. Children say, look at that little auntie, but the parents shouldn't teach the child about the differences between people and acceptance of diversity. I don't have my own children, and I have to admit that this is perhaps my only unfulfilled wish. Several years I worked as a babysitter, and it was great joy for me. Then I got a job at Uriho, and I stayed there for 37 years. Now I'm working as a manager there, mostly with people with intellectual disabilities, and that fulfills me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm always there for them. Sometimes we hug, sometimes I'm a little bit harsher with them, but they know they can always count on me. Finally, what I consider important in life is to be honest and try to talk with each other because communication always solves things. We, people with disabilities, need to say what we want, think or expect because other people don't need to know our wishes or expectations. We are responsible for ourselves and for our lives. We should know how to ask what we want and how to think for help. My guiding thought is that you should live, enjoy life and spread love. When we spread love, it always comes back to us.